In this short video we will answer the question regarding CBD use and drug screening. The popularity of CBD in the last 12 months has skyrocketed and has been become part of the mainstream marketplace. Please subscribe below for updates and news on CBD. CBD oil is short for cannabidiol and is a compound found in cannabis, which has gained popularity over the last few years for its therapeutic properties. Advocates claim to see positive changes when combating anxiety, seizures, and a number of other issues, but the products aren't legal in all 50 states. Although most CBD products claim to have under 0.3% THC, which is classified as hemp, the products remain unregulated making the THC levels unreliable. The Drug Enforcement Agency states, for practical purposes, all extracts that contain CBD will also contain at least small amounts of other cannabinoids. Although it might be theoretically possible to produce a CBD extract that contains absolutely no amounts of other cannabinoids, the Drug Informant Agency is not aware of any industrially utilized methods that have achieved this result. Since the popularity of CBD oil products continue to thrive on the market, employers everywhere are questioning these products and their effects on drug testing in the workplace. While CBD oil remains a trending subject matter, many experts that have been working hard to answer some of the most frequently asked questions regarding CBD oil from consumers and employers alike. Some of the most commonly asked questions include, can a positive urine test for CBD oil come back negative if it's tested again a week later for the compound? Is CBD oil considered acceptable? Will CBD cream test positive on a drug test? Can a drug test determine if someone has taken CBD oil which has caused a positive test result? How do you prove it's CBD oil, not marijuana? How long can CBD oil stay in your system? Will I test positive on a drug test for THC if I'm using a CBD oil vape? What is CBD? Tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, is the chemical compound responsible for marijuana's psychoactivity and euphoria and is usually screened for in a typical urine drug test. When drug testing is mandated, employers follow guidelines, such as the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration which has a set cutoff level for a positive test at greater than 50 nanograms per milliliter. When a test is positive, it then gets screened again with a confirmatory GC per mega Siemens or LC per mega Siemens test, which have cutoff levels of 15 nanograms per milliliter and is specific only to the THC metabolite. In order for CBD, or cannabinoid-rich hemp oil products to test positive on a drug test, an individual would have to be using unusually large amounts above 1,000 to 2,000 mg of the product. Due to the fact that it remains an unregulated drug, some CBD oils have as much as one-tenth the THC concentration as marijuana. Therefore, consuming high quantities of CBD oil will leave enough THC in your system to trigger a positive test result and cause impairment. CBD versus THC What does this mean for employers? One of the main issues lies in the fact that CBD oil brands are often contradicting because the doses aren't standardized. Some brands will recommend a much higher dose than others increasing confusion with its inconsistency. CBD oils are not from state-sanctioned programs, and those who are using the suggested serving size might test positive on a drug test even if they are going by the doses. The Food and Drug Administration has published several letters warning consumers of the inaccurate content of various CBD oil products and states that many were found to not contain the levels of CBD they claim to contain. Many hemp or CBD products, regardless of their legality in your state, are unregulated and can contain THC which might show up on a drug test. The bottom line is if you're unsure of what's in it, don't take it. Many hemp or CBD products, regardless of their legality in your state, are unregulated and can contain THC which might show up on a drug test. Medical disclosure policies make employees working in a safety-sensitive position disclose their prescription drug use to the employer, helping to cover all bases for legal drug use that no-tolerance policies don't provide. Can CBD oil cause a drug test to have a positive result? CBD oil can be made from both marijuana and hemp. Hemp-based CBD oils, when used in low doses, are unlikely to result in a positive test because they often don't contain high enough levels of THC for detection. 
If an employee is using hemp-derived CBD oil, they would have to consume above 1,000 to 2,000 mg of the product, considered a relatively large amount, to test non-negative. Note, taking that much CBD oil could result in the user's impairment. Doses aren't standardized across brands and some recommend higher doses than others. In addition, hemp-derived CBD oils aren't FDA-regulated and the advertised THC levels of products can be unreliable. As a result of varying dose recommendations and uncertain THC levels, taking CBD oil comes with a risk of a non-negative test result. CBD oil versus medical marijuana as CBD oil considered acceptable? CBD oil can be made from both marijuana and hemp. Hemp-derived CBD oil, often referred to as low THC, high CBD oil, is legal in all 50 states while marijuana-derived CBD oil is not. The laws for marijuana-derived CBD oil vary by state and often have very strict and specific limitations. Unfortunately, CBD oil is unregulated, and you can never be 100% sure what you're getting in your product. Several companies have been reported providing low THC CBD oil, but when the product is tested it is not low in THC. Taking an unknown substance can potentially result in impairment and a failed drug test. Can a positive urine test for CBD oil come back negative if it's tested again a week later for the compound? No, the specimen process requires that the specimen is transferred to frozen long-term storage. See the process chart from one of our preferred laboratory partners in the case of a retest, which will make it the same sample. Will CBD cream test positive on a drug test? CBD products are unregulated, leaving the doses and levels of THC to often be inaccurate. CBD creams can either be used with both hemp and marijuana, which both have differing levels of THC. Hemp-based products are low THC, high CBD, but since the THC levels are unreliable, then there comes a risk of a non-negative test result. Can a drug test determine if someone has taken CBD oil which has caused a positive test result? How do you prove it's CBD oil, not marijuana? When testing for marijuana, drug tests detect THC, not CBD, but even hemp-based CBD products can have low amounts of THC. Drug tests do not determine the type of substance you took, only if it contains THC. Because CBD oil products are unregulated, the THC levels are unreliable. If an employee is using hemp-derived CBD oil, they would have to consume above 1,000 to 2,000 mg of the product, considered a relatively large amount, to test non-negative. How long can CBD oil stay in your system? If the product contains THC, even hemp-based products that are low THC, then marijuana can remain in your system. Detection windows for THC can vary on a number of factors, including a person's weight and frequent use. Marijuana can show positive on a urinalysis 30 days after its initial use and up to 90 days on a hair test. Will I test positive on a drug test for THC if I'm using a CBD oil vape? If the vape's CBD oil contains THC, then smoking a CBD vape pen can result in a positive test. Since doses aren't standardized or FDA regulated, then the amount of THC that is actually in the product can vary from what the label actually says. As CBD oil and products relating to this market continue to expand and grow, you can be sure the FDA will at some point step in with regulation. Until then, and with anything, the best practice is buyer beware. Read labels and check for documentation on the products. Request a certificate of analysis. If the company will not provide one, dot you should pass on the product. Please subscribe below for ongoing updates and news on CBD. Thanks from the CBD Healer.